Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to issue a single paycheck to an individual employee, you can enter it into the payroll entry window. You can also use it to enter handwritten payroll checks if desired. To open this window, select Tasks from the menu bar and then choose the Payroll Entry command. You begin by selecting the employee ID of the employee for whom you are creating the paycheck from the employee ID dropdown. Now if you plan on printing the check, then simply leave the check number field blank as you will be asked to assign the check number during the printing routine. If you don't plan on printing the check, then you can enter the number of the paycheck that was issued into the check number field. Then enter the date that you want to print on the paychecks into the date field. You can use the cash account drop down to select an account for the payroll entry. Note that this field will default to the last account used for a paycheck. You can then use the pay period ends field to enter the date that the pay period ends. Below, in the salary amounts or hours worked section, you will see the hourly rates or salary amounts for the selected employee. In the account column, you can set the general ledger account assigned to the row. You can change this if needed. You can enter in the amount to pay your salaried employees here, or enter the number of hours worked per pay level type in the salary slash hours column. You'll also see the employee and employer deductions, additions, and contributions shown to the right. You can change the account and amount in these fields if needed. Then if you need to print the paycheck, simply click the print button in the toolbar at the top of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.